Department of Telecommunications has launched a comprehensive pension management system called Sampan, which enables end-to-end -end processing, sanctioning, disbursement of terminal benefits as well as pension. For all the retirees who opted for VRS 2019 scheme announced by the government, the entire processing of their cases, including disbursement, will be done using Sampan. The website address of Sampan is as shown on the screen. Each retiree will be provided with login credentials and he or she has to fill up all the pension related forms and declarations on Sampan itself. This video will detail the process of filling up of forms by the retiree. Retiree will receive an SMS on his or her registered mobile number that is available in BSNL ERP system. Retirees must ensure that their latest and active mobile numbers are available in BSNL ERP system. In the SMS, retirees will receive user ID and password using which he can log on and fill his required information forms. After logging in for the first time, the retiree should change his password immediately. To do so, the retiree should go to the user drop-down in the top right corner and click on Change Password. The retiree should then change his or her password. After login, the retiree should go to Pensioner Details menu on the left hand side of the screen and click on Profile sub-menu. This will open the profile page. This profile page has various tabs which are forms and declarations that retiree has to submit for processing of terminal benefits and pension. The first tab is Personal Details which has all the personal details of the retiree like name, address, date of birth, date of retirement, etc. Some of the information will automatically be populated and cannot be changed by the retiree. Please note that in case there is any discrepancy in the pre-populated details, the retiree should contact his concerned BSNL office. The other data has to be filled by the retiree carefully. These three slides show the details that have to be filled by retiree user in Pensioner Details tab. The retiree must take note of the following while filling up details. While filling the address, only alphanumeric characters should be entered and special characters should be avoided. Retiree should use spaces if required. The following photographs need to be uploaded. One single photo of the retiree, one photo of the retiree's signature, one joint photograph of retiree and spouse. Photographs should be clear and of good quality. In case the permanent address is same as the present address, then check the same as checkbox given on the page. This will automatically replicate the present address in the permanent address field. Retiree should adhere to the size of the photographs mentioned on the page in front of photo uploading box. Extra care must be taken while uploading the images. Once uploaded, it should be ensured that the correct photo has been uploaded in the correct box. After filling the details, retiree should click on save and continue button to save the information and go to the next tab, commutation and FMA. As per the VRS 2019 scheme, retirees will not be eligible to apply for commutation on the date of retirement. Therefore, percentage of commutation will be zero by default and cannot be edited. The retiree should simply click on save and continue button to save the information and go to next tab which is family details. Here the retiree has to enter details of family members one at a time. Please note that retiree should not fill his or her own details in this tab. All the details should be filled very carefully like name, date of birth, marital status, disability and please note that these are all very very important information so should be filled carefully. 
Retiree should take note of the following points while filling up the details. Address cannot take special characters and spaces should be used if needed. In case family member's address is same as retiree's present address, then same as checkbox should be ticked. Please adhere to the size of the photograph mentioned on the page in front of the photo uploading box. Also, family member photo is optional. After filling in all the details, the retiree should click on save button. After this, the family member gets added and can be seen in the family details table at the bottom of the page. To add another member, the retiree has to fill up the form again and save. To edit the details of a family member, the edit icon which is the pencil icon should be clicked in the pensioner family details table. To delete a wrongly entered family member, the retiree should click on the delete button which is the cross button in the pensioner family details table. After all the family members have been added, the retiree should click on the next button to fill nomination form 1. Nomination form 1 is the form for declaring the nomination of gratuity and GPF. The retiree has to use the drop down box to select either gratuity or GPF in order to fill the nomination. After this, the nominee has to be selected from the drop down given in the nominee details grid. The nominees will be chosen from the family members list added in the previous step. Then, the percentage share to be paid has to be filled. Thereafter, any contingencies on happening of which nomination shall become invalid should be filled. Then, the save button has to be clicked to save the nomination which will be visible in the table at the bottom. In case the retiree wants to edit a nomination, he can do so by clicking on the edit icon which is the pencil icon in the nomination table. In case the retiree wants to delete a nomination, he can do so by clicking on the delete icon that is the cross icon in the nomination table. In case the retiree wants to nominate an alternate nominee for a nomination, he can do so by clicking on add alternate nominee in the nomination table. Then a pop-up window will open where the retiree can choose an alternate nominee from the drop down. The update button has to be clicked to save the information. After adding all the nominations, the retiree should click on the next button to move to nomination form A. Nomination form A is for the nomination related to areas pension and commutation of pension. The retiree has to use the drop down box to select either areas of pension or commutation in order to fill the nomination. After this, the nominee has to be selected from the drop down given in the nominee details grid. The nominees will be chosen from the family members list added in the previous step. Then, the percentage share to be paid has to be filled. Thereafter, any contingencies on happening of which nomination shall become invalid should be filled. Then, the save button has to be clicked in order to save the nomination which will be visible in the table at the bottom. In case the retiree wants to edit a nomination, he can do so by clicking on the edit icon that is the pencil icon in the nomination table. In case the retiree wants to delete a nomination, he can do so by clicking on the delete icon that is the cross icon in the nomination table. In case the retiree wants to nominate an alternate nominee for a nomination, he can do so by clicking on add alternate nominee in the nomination table. This will open a pop-up window where the retiree can choose an alternate nominee from the drop down. The update button has to be clicked to save the information. After adding all the nominations, the retiree should click on the next button to move to Bank Details tab. Retiree has to fill up the account related details such as account number, IFSC code, branch name and bank name. Please note that since pension and terminal benefits will be credited into this account, bank account details must be filled with extreme care. Retiree should click the submit button after which two buttons called print bank undertaking and upload a file will be shown on the screen. 
Retiree has to download the latest bank undertaking from the Sampan website at the download tab. After taking a printout, retiree has to sign and also get it signed from the respective bank authority. The bank undertaking has to be then uploaded by clicking on upload a file button. After uploading the signed bank undertaking, the save and continue button has to be clicked which will take the retiree to the checklist tab. This is a step for the retiree to make sure all the required forms and documents have been submitted by him. The retiree must select yes for those forms and documents applicable to him. For those that are not applicable, NA has to be selected. After this, save and continue button has to be clicked which will take the retiree to the preview print forms tab. This is the final tab from where he will see the summary of the details filled by him in the earlier pages. The information has to be carefully checked and if there are any corrections to be made, they must be corrected by going to the relevant tab. After cross-checking all the information, retiree should click on the final submission button and all the information is saved in the system and forwarded to the concerned BSNL office. The retirees must note that certain forms and documents are system generated while others have to be submitted in physical copies. The following are system generated. Form 3, Form 5, Nomination Form 1, Nomination Form A. And the following have to be submitted in physical copies. Bank undertaking has to be downloaded, signed and then uploaded. Two specimen signatures. Two slips with right and left thumb impression if applicable. Three single or joint as applicable photographs with spouse. Mandate form. Pan and Aadhaar card copies. Personal identification slip. Please note that all retirees are advised to be ready with all the documents listed before filling the information in the Sampan system. In case any corrections have to be done after final submission, the retiree must immediately inform the concerned BSNL office. In case the BSNL office detects a correction in the details filled by the retiree, the retiree will be intimated by the office. The retiree will have to log in and make necessary corrections and then click on final submit at the preview slash print forms tab. Apart from above, pensioners shall have access to digitally signed authority letters for terminal benefits and pension on the dashboard along with monthly ledger, option to submit investment and saving declarations and option to lodge grievances. For these and other features, a separate video shall be prepared. Thank you.